Have I been using the wrong golf ball this whole time? Let's find out. And let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. Guys, first things first, I'd like to warmly welcome you all back to the channel. I hope you're all safe. I hope you're all doing really, really well. You've joined us on another episode of Short Game Saturdays. And today, we're not talking wedges. We're not talking putters. We are talking golf balls. We are going to be joined very soon by Chris, as always, on a Short Game Saturday. And he's also doing a very similar video over on his channel. So make sure you go and check that out. Before we get into it, guys, Titleist have given us three dozen of the golf balls that you use all that you're fitted for to give away. So make sure you do stay tuned to this video to find out how you can win three dozen golf balls for when we eventually get back playing. Or if you are playing, then you're very, very lucky, but you could use them now. So guys, a few weeks ago on the channel, you may have seen the wedge fitting that we did online, the Titleist Vilky online wedge fitting. And we wanted to see just how accurate it really was. And actually it turned out to be pretty well. If you haven't watched that, we're still giving away a set of Vilky wedges in your specs. So make sure you go and check that out because then you could practice some chipping with your Vokey wedges in your specs and the Titleist golf balls in your specs. What a time to be alive. Now, today we're going to do something slightly different. We're going to do the ball fitting that Titleist offer on the website and see exactly how close it comes to what golf ball I use. And maybe it'll tell me what golf ball I should be using if I'm not using the right one. So generally, I always use either a Titleist Pro V1X or a TaylorMade TP5X, depending on what I find. And before we get started with the golf ball selector, we're going to get Chris on the line and we're going to see exactly how a golf ball can make such a difference with your short game. So without any further ado, let's get Chris on. Chris, how are you? Very good, yourself? I'm all right, thanks mate, yeah. Um, still in lockdown, so not great obviously, but um, today we're doing something a bit different, aren't we? We're gonna have a look at the, if I can get this to work, one second, bear with me. I'm still on the wrong thing. The Titleist Golf Ball Selector. But first of all, yep. Obviously, your channel's fairly new, but you're going to do something similar, so people need to go over and check it out, don't they, after this video. Um, yep. You're the short game expert, putting, chipping, bunkers, all things short game. Just talk us through kind of what difference you'll see by using a different golf ball, obviously, with putting and chipping and things like that. Uh, yeah, so again, I mean, depending on what golf ball you have, if it's a hard golf ball, you're going to see less spin, more than likely. Um you see a lot more chips running out a little bit further, so then you have to move your landing zone shorter. If you've got flop shots, it's very hard to control. Um, again, with putting, you know, they're going to come off a little bit quicker. So you're not going to need to make as long a swing, but you're going to be able to, you, well, you're going to have to adjust basically to, to that golf ball. Um, so it's making sure that you've got the golf ball that's consistent, not changing golf balls each time, because I see a lot of people go from, a rock solid golf ball to maybe a super soft. So if I if I stepped on the first tee with a bag full of these, that wouldn't um, you wouldn't be happy with that, would you? Well, no, because it's going to give you different feels. You know, if you go in there for a provisional, which we all know James goes in his bag for many provisionals. Generally, it's uh, not provisional. Actually, generally, it's just um, we know that one's lost, so we. Yeah, it's not provisional, is it? That's just this is my new ball, but. Very true. So um, if you get a different ball, then, you know, it's going to make a difference. It's going to be different with your irons as well. So hitting into the greens, your distance is not going to be the same. So, you know, having the same golf ball could save you as many as a couple of shots per round, I'd say. And what about, because obviously you've worked at quite a high level at the tall level as well, but what about your average player, your mid-handicap player? Are they still going to see a difference? Is it going to be mainly feel difference or are they going to see... So, you know, one of the big factors that Titleist talk about with their golf balls is launch characteristics. So, initial launch off the club. Obviously, the, the kind of Pro V1s and AVXs and the, the more premium covered ball will launch a little bit lower than maybe a, a kind of budget ball. And I don't like to call it that, but kind of cheap end ball. Yeah, so, I mean, you've got to think about what's your ball flight and what speed have you got. So, if you're somebody who doesn't have as much speed, if you're, you're a little bit older, you know, you've passed your 50s, 40s, you know, you're not swinging it. Oh, there's going to be so many people I'm not happy with that comment. <laughs> a little bit older, past your 50s. To be fair, well, they probably they probably hit it better than us anyway. So. Oh, yeah, but they don't get as much height, so they don't get as much speed. So you might go to a ball that launches a little bit higher. So something that um, is going to get you airborne, you're not going to have problems getting over things. So your bunkers, your water, your carries, you're going to have a better carry and launch. So, yeah, it's all... It's all dependent on which ball you want. Again, it's your budget. What budget have you got for golf balls? We know golf balls can add up, especially if you're losing them on a regular basis. Yeah, they can. They can. Well, um, okay. So 
basically, all you're saying there is stick to the same ball. Obviously, yep. try, and get, try and get fitted for a ball if you can, but then stick to the same one. Don't have loads of different balls in the bag. I know a, a kind of statement or a comment that I always remember is uh, a good golfer will always know what ball is pulling out of the bag straight away. So you're not fishing in there. Nope, nope, nope. Because that's, that's what we do, isn't it? But um, Chris, thank you very much for your time. No problem. Really appreciate it. So guys, make sure you go over and check over check out Chris's channel because he's also giving away some golf balls courtesy of our friends at Titleist. Um, I'm excited to do this. So I'm going to leave you now and I'm going to have a go. Right. Well, I'll see you on. See you on, mate. Bye. So guys, a few words of wisdom there from Chris, our short game expert. And for me, one of the big things that I feel is when you are putting, so when people do golf ball fittings, I've got, still got these in, I don't need those in. We always look at spin characteristics with the driver. We always look at how far we're hitting it. We look at iron descent and all this. But for me, one of the huge factors that we need to think about is how does it feel off the putter? How does it feel off the wedges? For me, if I use a ball that feels too soft, I don't really get the feel with the putter that I want. If I use a harder feeling ball, that kind of audio feedback really does help me and it just kind of sounds a little bit more clicky and a little bit nicer. Now, without any further ado, let's have a look at the Titleist Golf Ball Selector. Now, you can do this on your phone. I will put a link down below. And if you do want to be in with a chance of winning three dozen Titleist Golf Balls in your specs, then you have to go on there. You have to kind of go through it. There's a couple of questions. And just comment below what ball you got fitted for. Make sure you leave us a like in this video and you also have to be a subscriber as well. Chris is doing something similar. So if you want double a chance of winning, get yourself over there and do that. You can do it on your mobile. You can do it on your laptop. I'm going to go laptop because it just seems easier to me and I have it right here um, I'm not signing up for the newsletter because I never do and all we're going to do we are going to go on balls and we're going to go golf ball selector which is here on the right hand side find the best ball so you see it's pretty easy I must admit I've not done it yet but the guy is telling me it's easy uh, get started and like I said for me I generally use Pro V1X to tailor-made TP5X kind of a bit of a harder feeling ball it helps me with spin rate as well so the first question, what golf ball do you play? Now I'm going to go away from Titleist because I, I, I want to see kind of what they what they go with. So I'm going to go TaylorMade TP5X because if you remember, that's kind of what I got, got fitted for a while back. How many rounds do you play? I'm going to go 100 plus rounds because let's be fair, I'm testing all the time, aren't I? What is your preferred trajectory? So obviously what kind of height am I looking for? Um, I'm guessing it means kind of off the tee and with irons. Uh, I like, um, I do like a mid flight actually. I don't like it to go too high. What is your typical ball flight? Ball left, is that an option? I don't think it's an option. I'm gonna go with draw because I can snap hook it with the best of them and snap hook, like we said, isn't an option. Next question, how would you describe your spin and control on approach shots? My ball releases on the green more than I'd like it to. My ball lands, bounces, and stops twice. My golf ball spins back on the green more than I'd like it to. Um, it probably just like, it doesn't spin back, does it? But it doesn't release forward either, so we'll go middle option. Could you benefit from more short game spinning control? Yes, I could use, yeah, I think I could benefit from more spinning control, to be fair, in the short game. What type of feel do you prefer in your golf ball? Firmer, definitely prefer that firmer feel. Now, that is such a personal thing as well. But, next question, what is most important to help you play your best golf? Um, see, so what's that, what that's asking is really what question was the most important question, isn't it? Uh, I think stopping power, stopping power, really. And then final question, white or yellow? Um, we do actually have, funnily enough, some uh, white and yellow balls here. So, uh, I'm not going to lie, guys, I'm still a white man. Definitely still a white man there. And that's come up with the Titleist Pro V1. So that's quite interesting. I, dig, I do like the firmer feeling ball. What's happened for me is because I've said the most important factor is the stop and the control around the greens, then it's come up with the Pro V1. So I'm gonna have to maybe test those, test them against the TaylorMade TP5X, test them against the Pro V1X. Obviously this is just a starting block. So guys, if you do want to win three dozen golf balls in your specs, make sure you go out and check this Titleist Golf Ball Selector. Have a go, see what it comes out with. Hit those comments below and let us know what it recommends for you. Like this video, subscribe to this video. Maybe go check out Chris's video as well because he's doing something similar. Now with the wedges, you could kind of go alternate as well. So if I went alternative, I'm guessing it goes Pro V1X, and it does. So if I wasn't happy with that recommendation of Pro V1 because it feels too soft, I could probably get used to it, to be fair. I could go to the Pro V1X, which feels like a little bit harder. You're still probably gonna get a little bit of control around the greens, but I mean, the recommended golf ball was the 
Pro V1. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed that impromptu short game Saturdays. Golf ball is quite important. I think for any level, like Chris said, make sure you're consistent with what golf ball you're using. Make sure you're not chopping and changing too much. Once you've decided, give it a couple of rounds to maybe bed in, give it a couple of rounds to get used to the feel, get used to the trajectory, get used to the stopping power around the greens. Um, apart from that, guys, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure you like this video. Comment below what golf ball did it fit you for or recommend for you. And apart from that, I'll just really look forward to seeing you all tomorrow.